Okay, good morning everybody. It's now time for an up deep DVD and Blu-ray update for today, October 19th, 2015. Now, some of these stuff, these are DVDs, uh, some I got back in August. There's about one DVD I got back in August while I was still on vacation up in Maine. There were two I got in September, two thing, items I got in September, for which, uh, which has, and the rest is what I got this past Saturday, so... That's why there's a total of about seven items in all. This may take more than one part, depending on how much I get done in this first one. Well, in this video. So, we have about three movies. So, we have five DVDs and, well, one box set. One of them's a box set. And we have two Blu-rays Blu that I'm going to show. I mean, my family did get some others, but I'm not going to show those. Anyway, let's get started. First up is a movie, and this is the, I got, this was a good deal, I got it for almost this weekend. This is Clue, widescreen edition. Now, this year also marks the movie's 30th anniversary, because it came out in around 1985, late 1985. Having a good cast, having Tim Curry as Wadsworth the butler, also has Colleen Camp as the hotel maid. I think it's Lee Ving, I think, that plays Mr. Body, I'm not sure. But for the clue suspects, you have Martin Mull as Colonel Mustard, Michael McKean as Mr. Green, Christopher Lloyd as Professor Plum, Madeline, Madeline Kahn as Mrs. White, Eileen Brennan as Mrs. Peacock, and Leslie Ann Warren as Miss Scarlet. Wait, now, it's an if. Now, this is, and I'll show you the side and the back. Has all this, it has three different surprise endings. That's because the movie had three different endings. The first is what would have happened. The, the, the fur, second is what uh, on, it also could have happened. And the third is what really happened, which turned out... It turned out the third had, had Mr. Green actually committing the crime, is what he said. S said, so... Although he originally confesses that he didn't do it, he actually does tell for those... Now, this movie was kind of a box office bomb, kind of underperforming, but since then, it's actually been a cult classic since then, being based on the Parker Brothers board game clue, which I also have this game. By the way, no guide, but there's a standard disc, and there you go. So that's, so that's Clue. Clue for you. Now, that's the only mo movie I just got in standard. The rest are all t DVDs or all television related. The other two movies are on the Blu-ray. Next up, we have the complete fourth season of I Love Lucy. This I got this too. I got it almost back in September. They do have a more smaller single disc versions, but I think. But I prefer to get the box set versions, the used ones, the older ones, because I like those better, and given that you've had the first three, you all remember seeing the first three seasons in box sets, now I have four. I'll just need to get two more to complete it. Now, I'll show you the side and the back, and it has all the episodes in there. Now, this was the season where the Ricardos ended up going to Hollywood. Wood in that one, and I'll show you each DVD separately. First, we have this first one. Has the episodes on there. This one even features the Mr. and Mrs. TV show. Now that show, so only a few outlets aired it on the date of November 1st, 1954, because CBS was do and they're preempting it to do Republican to do some Republican Party election messages, I think, even though 1954 was not a presidential election year, just so you know. Don't know why. But it would eventually air everywhere on April 11th, 1955, during the Hollywood episode, so that's why I kinda got out of sequence. Here's the disc. Now, so that's that. Here's the second one. Some more episodes. And there's the disc with that. You see Lucy and Ethel on there. Next, we have this one. This is when they start traveling to there. It even features the episode, L.A. at Last, where they are in the Derby restaurant. That's when Lucy meets actor William Holden in that one. Just so you know, and they show, there's that disc, and speaking of that, they recently, I know back in May, they showed this episode along with Lucy and the Superman in color as part of a Superstar special, which I did see on CBS that time. It was, it was about the weekend of my birthday. 
day, just so you know. Now we have disc four. Some of the best. There, so this has some more episodes from Hollywood. Not much to say. And finally, we have the last disc, which has the last few episodes, including the one where where Lucy ends up meeting one of the Marx Brothers. He meets that silent one, Harpo. She meets that. There's that disc for that. So... So there, it is a great season, and if you don't have this season of Lucy yet, you should go ahead and buy, buy it on the standard DVD. Speaking of that, you know, the first two seasons are also available on Blu-ray now, but the price is kind of really expensive for that, because of so many. But this was a good deal, however, for only for that, so that's that. The, now, don't, well, now, while those two I got at Bull Moose in Salem, this one I got at Bull Moose in Scarborough, Maine while on vacation, and this is another Best of the Muppet Show DVD. This one features Diana Ross, Brooke Shields, and one episode that's on my Season 2 DVD set, the one with Rudolf Nure Nureyev. Here's the spine, and the back. The one with Ross features had an Olympics-themed one. We know the Nureyev promoted culture. And the Brooke Shields one is interesting because that's when the Muppets do their production, did their production of Alice in Wonderland and that. With Brooke playing Alice. One of several that they did productions of. Like, others that they remember, such as Lynn Red, late Lynn Redgrave being when they did Robin Hood and also the late Marty Feldman for the Arabian Nights. Well, Brooke Shields also remains history of being the youngest person to ever hook ever be a guest on The Muppet Show back in the day, because she was only about in her teens at the time the episode aired around 1980, 1981, because this was near the end, end of the, yeah, it was in the fifth season, because it was near the end of the show's run. I'll show you the disc. Here's the guide, and it's on an orange disc. It's also my second best of Muppet Show DVD set I have, because I know the first you remember had the episodes with Steve Martin, Carol Burnett, and Gilda Radner. So that's that. Best of features some episodes from seasons four and five that too bad. And I'm kind of surprised they still haven't released the fourth and fifth seasons yet. They really should. So, because I would love to get them. Speaking of the Muppets, they the the Muppets new show is currently airing on television on ABC. They air Tuesday nights at eight. Of course, there's not going to be an episode this week because ABC is going to air a special, a popular special that's. That's been a tradition, and I'm actually going, and I actually have this, and I'm actually going to tell you more about it in a little bit. It so let's so that's the Muppet Show. Next is another. This I got at Fye at the mall at Rockingham Park in Salem. This uh, Salem, yeah, Lucy got in September. This is next. We have the complete third season of New Girl, Fox's big show. I love this show. Now. The next, now, New Girl has been renewed for a fifth season, but it's not going to premiere until January because of Zoe Deschanel's. Now, because Zoe Deschanel recently became a mother and she has to take care of her baby. Just so you know, so and there's going to be several episodes where Jess won't appear in the. In, that'll be in the fifth season because they'll have her. They have this for a jury, so he's sequestered. So. I'm actually going to skip the episodes where Jess doesn't appear, and because New Girl isn't New Girl without Zoe. Hi! You can also see... see... see Winston, Schmidt, Nick, and Cece on there. Now... This... in this... this was the season when Damon Wayans Jr. kind of return... briefly returned to the show to reprieve... to reprise the role of Coach, which... because he played Coach in the pilot episode in the first season, but... This was back when ha ABC's Happy Endings was still on the air because because of that he ended up having to go back to that. So that's why Lamorne Morris came in in the second episode to play Winston, and Winston has been in every episode since. The only other two that have, that the only two New Girls cast members to be in every episode, and this will be true come fifth season, are pretty much are pretty much much Schmidt and Nick. That being Max. Max Greenfield and Jake Johnson, respectively, they're the ones who play them. And because Hannah Simone, who plays Cece, ha, has been has set out a couple episodes. I'll show you the spine and the back. 
Frida's set. I, oh yeah, and Muppets had never before seen. Not not much of a description. And I forgot for Clue. Well, Clue ha doesn't have a descriptive review, so I can't say that. But these these episodes. It also features the episode that aired after the Super Bowl. Bowl back in Super Bowl four. 48 and 2014. That's the episode what that featured the prince in that one, which that it still remains New Girl's highest rated episode because 25.8 million viewers watched it, being after Super Bowl lead out. And I'll open the discs. Yep, see there's a promo for the... This is the cover art for the fourth season, which is also available. Have the episodes. There's disc one, which has Nick and Jess... Here's disc two, which has Coach and Schmidt. And disc three, which has Cece and Winston. After all, New Girl still is a funny show. Oh, and that's why it is one of Fox's best comedies. Knees of the day. I, I still enjoy it quite a lot. So, that's New Girl. And next now, and next is the one special I mentioned earlier. And ABC is going to air this tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Only in half hour, but I got this because I like this. And you know I have this on video, too. Next, it's the remastered deluxe edition DVD of It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. And this includes a bonus Peanuts TV special. Now, I don't really need to describe it much because, as you know, my good YouTube fr good friend Patrick Butler has did a review of this last year. If you haven't seen his video yet, you should go check it out because he, he's, he did a great job doing this and... I'm sure Patrick... Well, Patrick, I bet you're happy now that I have a copy of this one, too. They also have it on Blu-ray as well. But anyway, here's the spine. And the back. Peanuts, pumpkins, and pleasure for the whole family. Two special features. It has We Need a Blockbuster Charlie Brown, which is the making of of the special. And second is a special called It's Magic Charlie Brown, which I've never seen that one, because... I know our other, other past DVD releases of this, for older ones, had You're Not Elected, Charlie Brown, which more commonly aired on ABC when they did one-hour airings of The Great Pumpkin, but currently they're not scheduled to do You're Not Elected so far this year because The uh, Great Pumpkin airing is only a half hour because of them doing Toy Story of Terror, which I don't have on DVD, sadly. Maybe I should pick that up someday. But now I'll show you the, the discs. Eco case, and you see the disc which has an out great art of Linus sitting out in the pumpkin patch. After all, it's the great pumpkin. Charlie Brown will be is going to be is pretty much forty nine years old. And it'll turn fifty next year, and this is pretty much the best Halloween special ever made, and second best Peanuts television special of all time, only behind the Charlie Brown Christmas, of course. Which, that's going to turn 50, and I might do a special video for that co come December. Or so, you might see this, but It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown is a great Halloween special, and I bet you, if you don't have this, go ahead and pick it up. You will love it. Well, and I'm going to cut it short for part one, but part two will feature the two Blu-rays, so stick around for that, why don't you? Mm.